Hi, I want to welcome everyone again to another short demonstration on Creo Parametric. In this demo, we're going to look at assembly constraints and actually flexibility of the components being constrained. So again, we're going to use our 777 race car as the basis of the demo. And what we're looking at here is a clutch assembly that I already opened from the race car model. Um, assembly needs springs applied, so I need to apply a spring on the lower part of the clutch assembly and a spring on the upper part of the clutch assembly. And looking at this from the overview or overhead uh, angle, I see that there's two different distances. Well, we could use two different springs or we could just use one spring and add flexibility to it. In this case, we're going to do the latter. We're going to add flexibility. So let's select our spring, bring our spring into the actual assembly, and let's just drop it or place it randomly right now, not really constraining it. Now, this method will allow me to add flexibility to the spring. So I'll right-click the spring, and again, illustrating a lot of the right-click functionality in Creo. And I'm going to make this spring flexible. So it's going to want me to define now what part of the spring is going to be flexible. In this case, I'm going to choose a length between two defining points. And then the part that I'm going to make flexible, or in this case, the element, is the dimension. Now, I could choose a certain value, a certain angle, a certain distance, a variety of different ways to make it flexible. But I'm going to use the distance option and it will prompt me now to pick the points from the actual assembly, in this case the clutch assembly, to measure the actual distance. So I'm going to choose those two points and I see this measured distance is 18. So this will now add the flexible component to the spring making the distance of the spring points 18. And now I'm back to assembling the spring. So I can, in this case, match up pairings, one, uh, in, in this instance, one point to another point, and then I can actually align the other points as well. So I can go through and make these assumptions at this point. Now, right now, they're distance tags, but I'm going to change those distance to coincidence, and then what I'll see is those actually lock into shape. And what I'll do finally in this example here so I'm going to add a little bit of rotation and then I'm going to apply a third constraint in this case a fixed constraint which will fix the spring in its current position since we're not really showing any motion in this case and then fully constrain the spring so the, the spring flexed from its rested state now we're going to do the same operation to the above location I'm going to rotate the actual clutch assembly around to see the side a little better so once again, we'll go to Assemble. We're going to select the exact same spring. The spring is brought into the assembly. And I'm just going to randomly place it. Now again, I'm going to make this spring flexible. So I'll illustrate the right-click functionality of making flexible. Select, in this case, the element that I want to make flexible. And then the dimension, in this case, that we want to change. Just like before, we're going to change this to distance, our method of what we're selecting. And then what I'll do is I'll select the actual two reference, in this case, points from the assembly, and I see I have a distance now of 22. Previous one was 18. And then when I update this and save this, now I see the spring has flexed, and I have another spring that will fit between these points. And now, just like in the other example, I'm just going to match up, in this case, points, assembling point to point, point to point. And just like before, we're going to change the distance tags to coincident tags. And I'll rotate this around a little bit. And then finally apply the fixed constraint tag, or fixed constraint in this case, to fully constrain the spring. So a short example in Creo Parametric on assembling using points. Also, the ability to add flexibility to a component as you place it. Uh, and again, this was done on the fly. You also can add flexibility to components that have already been placed. Just another powerful method, another powerful tool in Creo Parametric, uh, enabling you to create very intricate designs, very intelligent designs. Creo Parametric. Thank you very much.